It's story time with Auntie Monique. Joseph the ruler, the new prime minister. Story 39, Genesis 41. When the king of Egypt heard Joseph explain his dreams, he was horrified. He knew that in spite of seven years of plentiful harvest, the seven years of shortage that were to follow would bring famine and death. But Joseph had something more to say. Your Majesty, he went on, may I suggest what you should do? Choose one of your men and put them in charge of all food supplies. He can supervise the storage of grain during the years of bumper crops so that there will be enough to feed everyone during the years the crops will fail. Then the people won't starve. The king was pleased with Joseph and his wise advice. You shall be that man, he announced. You have shown how wise you are, so I shall put you in charge of everything that needs to be done in the whole of Egypt. You shall be my new prime minister. On the king's orders, Joseph was given a fine chariot, servants of his own, and rich clothes and jewels. Joseph had learned to trust God and to do his work well as a slave and even in prison. He set out about his important duties in just the same way. He traveled the length and breadth of Egypt. In every city he gave orders for huge storage buildings to be put up to hold grain. Seven years of wonderful harvests brought huge quantities of grain. Joseph arranged for it to be stored all over the country before the seven years were up. The new storehouses were so full that even Joseph had lost count of how much grain they held. Then came the lean hungry years when no crops would grow. Joseph was busier than ever, selling the grain and seeing that it was fairly shared out. Soon people living in nearby countries who were also hit by famine heard that there was grain to be had in Egypt. They traveled to Joseph to ask if they too could buy grain to take home to their homelands. In the next episode, we will be covering Joseph the Ruler, Food in Egypt. Have a blessed day.